time of year again. And we're not talking about Shark Week. No. Well, maybe we are. <laughs> about the shark. Oh, great. Uh, so our next guest is talking about celebrating one of the most ferocious, was not talking about celebrating one of the <laughs> most ferocious fish in the sea. Instead, she's talking about the family gathering, you know, with friends mm -hmm. and family over the summer, and it can be just as fierce. Mm -hmm. Whoopi Queen, Cindy Bragg back with us today. Make sure that you and yours are well, you end up kind of chummy after the vacation. You want to stay chummy, right? Yes. Yeah. That's the goal. That is well, the goal. Well, you know, with it being Shark Week, a lot of people are, you know, dealing with family and mm -hmm. enjoying family mm -hmm. and then also enjoying? dealing with family, right? <laughs> We're like dealing. Right, right. So Ben Franklin said a few years back, mm -hmm. how many years? Just a few years. Just a few years. Just a few years back. That fish and visitors start smelling after about three days. You got that right. Ooh. There is a little funny thing that happens after about three days, isn't there, where you need to like... Reboot, recharge, right. something needs to the happen. The tolerance for, you know, yeah. Aunt Margaret's perfume has gone out the window. Yeah. It's giving you a headache. <laughs> so um, I involved people on social media to give us some um, advice. And okay. I, I thought there was a really couple good ones. This one was make really good food to make people fall asleep. Oh, yeah, okay. comfort food. <laughs> Like the high carb mm -hmm. food, yeah, I yeah. Like that. Oh, turkey, they say after Thanksgiving that you want to go Can you and sleep after that. So yeah, every barbecue, That's every meal you serve turkey, <laughs> turkey <laughs> people out. And then another one that um, that was Kimberly Sims. And then yeah. another one that I really liked was Fiona Wine on Instagram. She said, "Wine is to women what duct tape is to men." So I mean, yes. I always have a little happy it juice. It fixes right? everything. This is a big old glass of happy. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I brought these to, for us to have a little um, oh, thank you. refreshment. Thank you. Okay. This is a watermelon cooler, and oh. it's got lemonade. And, mm. it's watermelon. and it mm. doesn't have any alcohol, but you could put three fingers of oh. vodka in and feel oh. Ooh, very, very great. able to yeah. handle the family, right? Wonderful. Mm. Oh, this is sweet. I like Cheers. this. Cheers. Right? Cheers. Isn't that beautiful. Yeah. So cooling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect okay. for out of So that recipe is on my blog, cindybragg.com. But with some of the relatives, you may want to put the alcohol in. I ex yeah, yeah, knock right. them out early, right? <laughs> <laughs> but if you feed them too well, then they won't ever want to go home, right? True. Yeah, there's a fine line. Mm -hmm. There's a fine line. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the ideas is to, you know, keep things moving and keep some right. activities going. And this was a, a really fun idea from Family Fun Magazine, where you make a family timeline. And you could mm -hmm. actually, you know, have people, oh, there goes a shark. Um, okay. Bring pictures, or you could do it without pictures, but you put memorable dates on there, and you can involve everybody in the family. So, like, I put my grandfather, there's a picture here, I don't know if okay. we can twist it around. Here, I'll just take it off. Okay. Um, of my coming, you know, a picture from when he was in the war, World War II. Okay. All right, and then my grandmother sent him this picture, and it made him want to marry her. Well, Aww. none of us would be here without these two people. So that started our family timeline. So then and you I, start putting pictures on there of the guy that you fell in love with two years ago and got married, and now the big jerk that you divorced two years you later. You could do that. You could do that. Or you could do successes, you know, by, or, you know, funny little moments. I have a picture somewhere in here. My little yeah. boy wearing a cape. Like, for three years, my little boy wore a cape. It was like, you know, so put, you know, I could put, like, the first time he did a comedy show. That, right. Like, really memorable moments instead of, like, just anniversaries and weddings. And right. then everybody, it becomes a conversation. Yes. starter and everybody yeah. talks about mm -hmm, these events mm -hmm. that they all shared mutually or so that's a fun idea make it colorful relatives. and yeah. all you need is like a lot of people especially in Maryland have this paper to put down for crab make you know for right. crabbing mm -hmm. so just use that and rip it up and the what little kids idea. can play on this too because then they can actually draw or doodle something mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the little kids can be a part of it involves a lot of people so you just need to make sure you tell them in advance bring a memento yeah that would be great share, yeah. and even if they don't mm -hmm. you could still do mm -hmm. it you could yeah. still do it right um, okay. another idea is to have a family award ceremony <laughs> and you could you know make the awards fun like fashionista best karaoke a okay. bottomless stomach pit like make it so that you you know it's about your family and you could give out these trophies are at party city oh, yeah. you know these little ribbons you could you know right. just give away cookies if you wanted but to have like another instead of like sometimes we do a talent show we have a big family gathering in Idaho every year. There's like yeah. 25 of us. Mm -hmm. And um, so that was my third idea. Instead of just doing the family picture, we always do it in front of the teepee. Um, I want to this year do a slideshow and have people mm. send me pictures of them okay. just doing, going about their regular activities and put together a slideshow that we would show at our gathering in right. August. So okay. that's another way to involve people. And you know, and then there's something to look at. And there's always jib jab. I mean, I love jib jab. Jib uh, jab's oh, fun. Gosh, you can just put people's pictures <laughs> in their their right there. Like, yeah. Have them dancing yeah, around. And, you know, these things kind of are old school, but they they, you know, they they might get the kids away from right. their computer games for a minute, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you want to make memories. Yeah. You want to get people right. talking to each other. Mm -hmm. All right. So then, um, the second big tip is to remember that this is your vacation too. All right. Okay. So don't feel bad about reading. I mean, I am reading this Ooh. book about we killed the great American women in comedy. Um, <laughs> you know, Amy Poehler. You know, there's all kinds of great books out. But like, right. make sure take if you want to read, read. Don't feel guilty. And then also like go to the spa. I brought a little mud because I could. Bring a spot here. <laughs> little mud pad.
that. But you can right. go to the spa if you want to play golf. You know, like this is your vacation too. It isn't all about just your family. So well, sometimes that helps with an extended vacation because sometimes you do need to get away from mm -hmm. the family for just a few moments and just kind of. Whew. Recharge the yeah. batteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you schedule your appointment at the spa, then you can tell everybody, hey, 10 a.m. tomorrow, I'll be at the spa. So then right. the guys know to go and do something else. Something exactly. Else. Yeah. Find something mm -hmm. else to do. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That's, That's a great a idea. idea. Yeah, just I remember like that. that this is also And for once you, you have your hour in, you feel like, oh, okay, oh, yeah. I'm filled up oh, personally yeah, and ready yeah. to share with the family now. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it is Shark Week. I brought the shirt. My husband works at Discovery. Full disclosure. Isn't this okay. the most fun yeah. shirt? Oh. Josh, you had an end to get that shirt, huh? is great. You um we often have those people who are a little, you know, uh, people who take a bite out of the fun. So yeah. set some boundaries, you know, ahead of time. And remember, you're only there for a little while. This is just a couple days. Yeah. So ignore, ignore, ignore. Take walks, heavy breaths. Go to the spa. Go to the spa. <laughs> I love Get that. away. Yes. Yeah. What do you do when you have that one relative that just, you know, mm. Yeah, it just you know, you just, and you're, you're in close quarters with that person for several days. How do you deal with that? Well, I um, have had an issue before, and that what I've done is I said I drink a lot. <laughs> uh, I drink this glass every night. <laughs> How did you? No, um, I have a boundary. Yeah. And we've set it up ahead of time. And so that, you know, like I'll say, this is a line. We're crossing the line. Are you hurting my feelings? And, you right. know, I, um, I, I, there's, there's a line. And, and when it's crossed, there are consequences. Oftentimes people who are very um, verbally abusive, if you will, mm -hmm. they ha need to be handled like toddlers. Right. <laughs> so what you do is you say, you do this, here's the consequence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you can always walk out the door. You can walk out the door. Yeah, you can walk, walk out the door. And go to the spa again. There you <laughs> go. go. Cindy brings some great ideas for more information go to the whoopiequeen.com. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks Thanks for having summer. Summer. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming in.